There's one group of people that is having an especially personal reaction to that attack in Paris. Political cartoonists all around the globe are reacting with their pins, including Hartford Current's Bob Englehart. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us now live tonight with more. Hi, Ann and Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Bob Englehart is no stranger to controversy himself, but he says this incident will not stop him or cartoonists around the globe. Bob Englehart is one of the nation's premier political cartoonists. He's been the editorial page cartoonist for Connecticut's largest newspaper for the past 35 years and describes cartoonists' reaction to the attack on the Charlie Hebdo French satirical magazine this way. We're all still a little bit in shock, I think. You know, this was a terrorist attack, and the, and the, the reaction was typical of a terrorist attack. It's, I felt the same way when I read about this, or heard about it on radio, <clears throat> I felt the same way that I did on 9-11. Engelhardt says that the French magazine does go way over the top by American standards, but European satire has always been much more ferocious. But cartoonists here and there are having the same reaction. I felt vulnerable. I, got, I felt sick to my stomach. Um, and then as it sinks in, I feel, well, not going to change anything I do. His own cartoon this week in reaction to the attack was simple and to the point. That freedom and the pen are the two most dangerous weapons on earth. Other cartoonists from around the nation and around the world are expressing similar messages. That the jihadists are not going to stop the freedom of expression so cherished in most of all the Western world. You can't stop us. You can't stop us. You can kill us, but that's not going to stop us. You can't, it, it, it will continue. We're going to do what we do. We're going to do what we think is right. And I'd like to extend my personal congratulations to my old friend Bob. Both Bob Engelhart and yours truly are observing 35 years here in Connecticut this year. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.